I'm gonna say it because I care about y'all. Your fit is not good if you don't wear jewelry. Just take this fit for example. It looks really nice, but it's just missing something. And that would be jewelry. Now you don't need an absurd amount of jewelry. All you really need is three pieces, the necklace, the ring, and the bracelets. But don't just take it from me. Let me give you an example. Here's Zuck rocking a chain. Didn't have that on my bingo card, but the dude looks like a stud from just one item. And the comments agree. And this is what jewelry can do for you, your fits, and your overall confidence. So. Welcome to the ultimate guide to jewelry for men. By the end of this video, I promise you, your fits are going to be top notch. But first off, let's talk about some misconceptions with jewelry. And even I've given this advice myself, and that is if you have a warmer skin tone or green veins, wear gold jewelry. If you have a lighter skin tone and more bluish veins, wear silver. And while this is a good place to get your foot in the door to see if you actually like jewelry, it's not the best advice out there because some people just fully disregard one or the other. And I personally believe it doesn't matter what your skin tone is. You can rock gold, you can rock silver, you just gotta test it out yourself. Now for this video specifically, we're gonna focus on silver jewelry and all of the jewelry today is from Lupin, but more on them later. Now the next misconception is that shiny and polished is better. Far from it. There are brushed metals that are very attractive they have less shine but some pieces do benefit from not having that mirror finish so this is preference it definitely depends on the piece but just keep this in mind don't always stick to the mirror finish you're excluding a whole category of pieces that look really good you know it's kind of like cars in my opinion you got the shiny clear coats and then you have the matte finish totally up to preference some might look better than the other depending on the car interjecting here with another misconception and that is that you can't wear silver and gold together like I said this video is all gonna be about silver but if you have a gold watch or something you're not limited to only wearing gold pieces. I think it's bad fashion advice to give that. And who knows, maybe I've said it in the past, but the whole point about fashion is to experiment around. Don't get caught up in that. Now, the final misconception I hear all the time is that jewelry isn't for me. All right, bro. The question I gotta ask you is how many times have you tried it? Once, twice, few times. Oftentimes, you're trying on lackluster pieces. You didn't watch a Johnny Ty video. <laughs> so that's your biggest problem right there. Don't worry though. That's what this video is for. I got you. So. Let's start off with the chain. So the chain or the necklace, it can be worn two ways, either just a solid chain or one with a pendant. Now this is all preference, of course, and so the reason why you may not like jewelry is you tried one with a pendant or vice versa. You tried a really thick chain that just doesn't look good. And then you jump to conclusions saying that jewelry isn't for you. Nah, man, you weren't set up to succeed. So you really can't go wrong with either, but the pendant will show a little more personality. Now, of course, there are a ton of chain varieties out there. You got the Cuban link, the rope chain, the chain link. And what I found that works for most guys is is a thinner chain if you got one with a pendant and a thicker chain if you're not into the pendants. But if you are gonna get a pendant, make sure you get one with a unique design to it. This one specifically is made with an onyx stone, which really makes a character pop. And I personally think it's a great way to top off a fit with a lot of black in it. And what I like most about a chain with a pendant is if you don't like the pendants, you can always take it off for the day and just rock the chain on its own. I also like this one right here. You got that circle pendants you can never go wrong with. And then in terms of wearing it, you can tuck it inside your shirt for a more subtle look. Me personally, I always want the pendant showing. Now don't take it from me. I dragged my barber into my place to put him onto some jewelry. This dude never wears jewelry. And yo, check him out with this necklace on. Look how good this dude looks. He's definitely gonna get a lot of compliments, just like I know you will get a lot of compliments by wearing these pieces from the sponsor of today's video, Lupin. And sort of me because I designed this necklace in collaboration with Lupin. But yeah, I've been wearing Lupin for years. There's a reason why I chose Lupin to collaborate with, because if you're like me, I'm a man that loves craftsmanship. And every Lupin piece is handcrafted with 925 sterling silver. And that's what you really want instead of stainless steel. But yeah, it's handcrafted in Seoul, South Korea by third generation jewelers. You know, we love seeing experts at their craft. The best part about Lupin's designs are how versatile they are. So every piece is clean, minimal, and sophisticated, and it can really be worn with any fashion style. So work wear, men's wear, tech wear, Asian street wear. Even if you want to be lazy for the day and you want to throw on a cozy fit, tossing on a piece from Lupin just elevates the fit. And all you did was... Now, of course, I'm biased. My favorite pieces from Lupin are designed by yours truly, which is the Ascend necklace and the Ascend ring. We'll dive into rings later, but the whole theme with this collection is about ascending past any obstacles in life. Because life is gonna happen, but if you move forward and ascend past those obstacles, not only are you gonna feel better about yourself, you're going to inspire those around you and the next generation. And that's some Thaiism right there. That's my philosophy. So you really can't go wrong with any of their pieces, and I don't know about y'all, my skin is really allergic to nickel-plated metal. I get a huge rash, my skin turns green. It's really weird. Lupin's pieces, like I said, are handcrafted with 925 sterling silver. They're really good stuff. So these pieces are nickel-free and you don't gotta deal with that at all. So fellas, I'm telling you, you gotta head over to Lupin and check out their sites. There's definitely going to be a piece for everybody and if you want a huge discount on your whole entire order, all you gotta do is click that first link down in the description. You'll see the discount code there as well. Once again, 
click that first link down in the description. The discount code is there waiting for you to use it. Thank you Lupin for sponsoring this video. Let's move on to bracelets. So the next piece that you're going to need is the bracelets. Bracelets are very simple, but it does so much for you and your fits. It's like the necklace for your wrists, especially if you roll your sleeves up, it's warmer outside. It just makes you look put together. And that's another thing. Humans are naturally attracted to shiny objects. And so when another person notices it, they can tell that you had intention. You put intent into your fit, which guys respect and the ladies appreciate. Now here's what it looks like when my wrists are empty versus when I throw on jewelry. Big difference. The empty wrist just looks like it's missing something. It doesn't feel right. Now most of us already wear a timepiece, so a bracelet's a great gateway to getting into jewelry. So I've got two types of bracelets that I recommend. A chain with a clasp or one of these that has a bar that loops into the bigger ring. It never falls off. Off, trust me. But the important thing about bracelets is you want to know your sizing. You can buy a bracelet sizer, but all you really need is a shoelace and something to measure. So you want to wrap the shoelace around your wrist and make sure there's a one finger gap in it. That way there's a little bit of room to dangle around. You can bend your wrist without it hurting. It doesn't slide all the way past your hand. And then you just got to measure that one time. Then you'll know the size of your wrist going forward. Now let me show you three types of bracelets that I own. One that's a hybrid of a thick chain and then a thinner one. And it also comes with a pendant which drapes. Nice subtle touch. And then we have a thicker chain bracelet and a watch chain bracelet which is also a good starter if you already like wearing a watch. But yeah, now we're gonna move on to my favorite piece of jewelry, the ring. We're all gonna wear a ring eventually, so now's a good time to try out some pieces that you like. And I also think that rings are the best bang for the buck. Let me explain. This piece is going to poke out all year round. So a lot of times during the colder months or whenever you're layering a lot, your bracelets, your necklace might be hidden underneath a hoodie or the sleeves, but a ring, it's always poking out. It's a beautiful touch to a fit. I would personally recommend that you just stick to two rings per hand. That's the max for me, but I've seen people look great with multiple rings on their fingers. So right now I'm just on the one ring train. Now when it comes to Lupin, they have a variety of pieces, all from minimal and simple to a more stylistic touch that still remains simplistic. I love their For the People ring and their Level Up ring, which has an asymmetrical wrap and the Korean hangul. And the level up ring has a super angular look. It's a clean piece and because of that asymmetrical and angular design, this is my go-to choice for the more techie fits. But like I said, these pieces go with any style. Of course, like I said earlier, I am biased. My signet ring right here is what I wear the most. It's thicker for sure, but just the right amount. We also have a character that represents the entire collection. And yeah, like I said, I'm currently wearing three jewelry pieces right now, the ring, the bracelet, and the necklace. What you're gonna see most is the ring. So I think the first piece that you should try is the ring, but completely up to you. But yeah, now let's move on to stacking. This is something a lot of guys miss out on because you can get more creative with jewelry than you think. Personally, I'm a more minimal guy, but stacking has its place. So if you have more than one of these items, just try and stack it, see how it looks. With necklaces, this really works if you have two different lengths, but try stacking it. So that might be an option for you, but like I said, I usually stick to one. With bracelets, I think it's best you stack with different thicknesses. That's definitely not a word, but we're gonna roll with it. A thin one and a thicker one. Again, this is going to show even more intent, which everyone appreciates. And when it comes to rings, same thing, thick ring, thin ring. So I really love doing this with Lupin's Together Ring and the Korean Trigram Ring. So something that you're going to notice if you don't wear your jewelry as often is they're gonna start to tarnish. They're gonna change color. It's gonna have a weird smell to it. And don't worry, this is a natural thing that happens with metals. That's how you know it's legit. So here's a few ways to keep these pieces pristine. One thing that'll solve all of these issues is just keep wearing your pieces. That alone should prevent the tarnishing. And whenever you don't wear it, try and store it in the bag that they give you or inside of a jewelry box. But the best way to handle it is is polishing it and you can do this in two ways. I would avoid that chemical stuff by the way. But yeah, the microfiber cloth that comes with each jewelry piece, just use that every time you take off your ring. It'll keep it nice and shiny. If you see micro scratches and all that, utilize this little buffing bar. It's super cheap, you can buy them in bulk. There's two sides to it. It's kind of like sharpening a knife or like sandpaper. One's a little bit more rougher just to get rid of the micro scratches and then you have a polishing side which will buff it up just the same way like you wax a car and you buff it to make it really shiny. It'll look brand new. Now you don't want to do this too often, just whenever the pieces get a little hazy and look at all that tarnishing coming off. So fellas, that there is the ultimate guide to jewelry for men. You're a pro now. Johnny Ty's got your back. Thank you Lupin again for sponsoring this video. Remember, if you want a nice discount, that code is linked right down in the description. Check out their sites. There's something for everyone. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until then, stay fly. Deuces.